All right, let's go for our Viego. Let's swap some of these out. Uh, Starforged always goes up top. Looks pretty good. All right, we're going to hop into Morgana and I'm going to go <laughs> to the bathroom again. Sorry. All right, let's see what we get here. So support champion. So no Shadow Isles. That is a little bit sad. Um, I don't think any of these really have a lot of synergies with us. Like Samira, it's cheap units. Kind of thinking reroll, honestly. Hmm. Avalanche for kills. I mean, possibly. But we're not actually really going to want to kill our own board because we want Viego to do that. And I feel like we normally won't be able to kill their units. Uh... Dio's uh, War Udu Muda Muda. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate the support. I think we're gonna do a reroll. Lissandra's kind of hilarious. Um, I mean, a black cleaver, Lissandra. Three cost in tomb. That's not bad. Ravenous Flock. Good for kills. Stormcalling will give us cost reduction for our Viego. So that is okay. Uh, Lifesteal and Barrier is also fine. And Shen is solid. Excuse me, I missed the name reading. Could you repeat that? Uh, there's going to be a VOD that's recorded. So just check YouTube like tomorrow and you'll be good to go. So this one won't actually work into Lissandra, which is kind of the most important fight because Lissandra can unentomb her people really easily. Uh, so I think I'll actually go for the Shen cost reduction for our uh, Viego and then Spirit's Refuge is solid. Granted, none of these are really great, to be honest. Uh, power. <laughs> nice self plug pro move. Uh, quick draw, afterlife forbidden. I think I'll probably go for the quick draw. Afterlife forbidden is solid. But more cost reduction for our units. We can try to play more earlier, especially trying to get more units on the board for our Viego to kill so we can get them on the board a little bit faster. I think I'll go for this one. Again, though, we're not getting anything crazy yet, at least. Bicket. Thank you for the uh, follow. I appreciate the support. Still a little expensive. Uh, that's not bad. Probably going to grab that one. Power Rift. Hapless Aristocrat. Doubling dice. I do kind of like doubling dice for this. It would help us have draw and... Yeah, I kind of want to try that. All right, let's get Chronicler of Ruin. Yeah, sadly we low rolled that amount of gold. Like, that was like the lowest amount you could possibly get, which sucks. Another one cost with Reckoner's Mark. I do love Reckoner's Mark. Sure. It's even the featured one. Revive the strongest dead allied follower. Granted ephemeral and fearsome. I feel like a two cost heroin return is good. All right. So Lissandra's over there. It that stares. Man, I haven't done Lissandra in a minute. Uh, Inquisitor. And she who wanders. 
I don't really want to deal with it at stairs. And also, I don't really want to go for the remitter for that cheese. Like, I want to probably try my first attempt a little bit more normally. So I think let's go down the middle. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. So up first, we have Trapper with At Last They Awaken. How far are you in the Viego Constellation? Uh, we've gotten to Crush, so the fourth star power. I didn't have enough fragments to get further than that, sadly. Uh, let's get rid of the Possession. I thought this was supposed to be a three cost. Well, this got reduced down. Weird. Uh, we can... Get rid of the Spirit's Refuge as well. I tried Scissor's build on Nid in Lissandra. Destroyed everything until I got to her. Uh, shred her next to like 20 HP and couldn't end it. Oof. Rough. Uh, right. For a Trapper, always pass first. So that they can play something. Uh, sure, we can attack like this and try to kill their unit. Alright, free damage. Sounds good. Have you, uh, Viego already level 30? Yes. What did we catch? Yeah, let's just drop this here. This Our Viego is going to end up getting captured, but not really anything we can do to stop that. Alright, so we know Viego is going to get captured as soon as they play something. I will find her. Uh, scissors on that isn't incredible. But I mean, it's still going to be a lot of damage, and if we wait at all, like we don't have any removal to kill whatever they grab him with. So yeah, I kind of feel like we just need to attack. Yeah, let's sadly go for it. You, sir. Command you. His fire burns bright in our hearts. Yep, there's the capture. I was gonna play this for the mist, but we might want to save the mist for our attack, so I or our defense that is. So I think I'll actually drop Shen. The trap is set. Yes, this is the first charge of uh, Lissandra. Hello, Exhausted. Uh, this is going to hit their strongest, won't actually die. So let's drop the soldier right here. This has captured Fading Icon. This has captured Viego. Alright, so we can play this, but it's just going to strike the strongest, which won't actually kill. Alright, let's kill that one. Kill this here to try to get another one of our units back. We'll then drop our Caretaker to kill their Yeti, so we once again get another one of our units. Uh, we have our Spirit's Refuge, but we can wait for now. Defeat Lissandra with Corrupted Star Fragments, Shade Leaf, and Banshee. Nice. Alright, wonderful. We now actually have a bit of a board. Ah, uh, killing this would actually refill our board too much. Yeah, we can end here. That's fine. Uh, sure, let's revive the strongest dead follower. That's what's going to get captured anyways when they play something, which is decent. Uh, 
Oh. Huh. Well, didn't see that coming. Alright, let's attack and do as much damage as possible. Well, I thought they would block with someone. Alright. Yeah, all the captures are so annoying. The longer the game goes on, it's just uh, so frustrating. The War Mother will unite us all. brothers. <laughs> yeah, none of our units can block. How fun. This one has Chronicler of Ruin. This one has Viego. <sighs> it's annoying because I don't want to pass and have them just be like, okay, and end the round. But at the same time, I don't really want to play something and have it immediately get captured. This one will give me three sigils. So this is going to get captured, but... Stand with me by the light, as my ancestors did. Alright, so... That is Viego. We're going to kill this, get our Viego back. We are now going to attack, summon another Encroaching Mist, and we are going to give our Viego Barrier and Life Steal so we heal back up. GG. Easy. The Shadow Isles are just the beginning. I just got my first uh, Nova Crystal. Nice. I still have not gotten any yet. I guess, no, I got one P and Z one from one of the bundles. Uh, inheritance and Trifarian are broken on Viego. Yes. Uh, Viego is four stars. <laughs> that was stressing. I mean, that is classic. Yeah, I'm fine with this. This is our champion spell anyways. That is classic Lissandra. Always very stressful. Uh, kill an ally to draw two. I do like that. Atrocity is also solid, but I think I'll go here. Yeah. All right, Rhyme Test Shaman. I hate it. Uh, so let's go over here. This would hard counter us because all of our mists would be frostbitten. So yeah, Omenhawk. Any way of getting new resources that is not bundles? Uh, yeah, do all the quests and adventures and stuff. Yeah, I didn't... I don't like how, like, the always going top meta. And I wanted my Viego run to not be relying on Remitter. So, we might end up losing for it, but it's like, I want to at least try to go a more normal path. Alright, that is a lot. We will... Just drop this here. What that noise? You have to get me out of here. Uh, we can't actually have this on the stack. 
Yeah, we'll just let it die. We'll probably use this next round. Oh, this is zero cost because we just drew it. And the other one's zero cost because of the doubling dice. Hey, like, despair looks good. Should we despair their <laughs> bull? That won't backfire, right? Uh, let's... I mean, we can keep playing this for free, so... Kind of feel like might as well. Okay. It just keeps going. <laughs> oh, and now it's giving us more cost reduction because now it's over five. Yeah, to spare a 24 attack feels like the right thing to do. Uh, well, we can drop our Viego. I do this for her. For us. Yeah, this will be the right choice. No place All right, so we can hear that. attack. Can't afford to miss. And we are going to clone our one that has the whatever it's called. Uh, rally banner, so that we'll be able to attack again if we want. You, sir. Possession spell bug. Oh, for it not getting cost reduced. Yeah. GG. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Yeah, that spell is supposed to get, like, two cost reduction from our uh, starting deck, and normally it doesn't pop up. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. I do like Rite of Calling. Scribe would be a pretty big unit, because it's going to have Phage, and it's going to have the Pickaxe. But kill an ally, that's good. The draw champion, also good. I think the backup to make sure we get our uh, Viego is probably worth it. All right, Scar Mother and Secrets Hidden by Frost. Uh, Beast Within, first of all, Gratz, and then second of all, it's good on everyone. <laughs> so, go nuts. All right, I guess we'll just drop our Shen. The fate of mortals and spirits. All right, a little sad we didn't get anything else. Uh, Crumble Master and Avis Best ninety eight. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate the support. Uh, I mean, it is kind of tempting to kill our Shen. Might do that next round. We'll see. Yeah, I don't really... Like, Shen really doesn't matter when compared to... I mean, we might just draw... No, we have the other Shen. We have the other Shen. So we will guarantee our... Viego. And one cost reduction from drawing him, and one cost reduction from having a unit. So we can play him. One issue is we can't really attack, because they could kill us. Like... 
wouldn't be the best, but at the same time, they're going to attack and do a lot of damage. Also, attacking wouldn't really help just with this because uh, they would survive and then double their stats. So I think we just have to pass here. A little rough. Alright, so... This will be decent. That's gonna be bad, though. The Tribliss. Yeah, that's gonna be really bad. Alrighty, let's drop him here. And then let's kill this to kill that. Probably the best case scenario that we can possibly do. Yeah. Uh, if you like Troll King's crown grew up, yeah, the Beast Within, very much. My biggest issue is since I'm moderately new, I have very few forges, so not a, flex a lot of flexibility. Yeah, that would get you. Oh look, we leveled. That's handy. So the problem is this would actually kind of work against us buffing up their attack. So not the best. The darkness, like hunger, only grows. The dark if I summon another one of these, is it going to make us another? I think it will. So I'm kind of conflicted. If we attack with the Tribliss, he is going to buff up all of their attack. But he is giving us a lot of damage. But at the same time, like if we do that, we also can't use our barrier. I think I might just want to play this a little bit slower and safe and attack like this and throw on a Spirit's Refuge to heal back up. Because we're probably not going to be able to end here. And what's likely going to happen is if we would attack with everything we have, they would slightly survive and all of our units would be dead. They would attack back and kill us. I think even if we attack, we technically have lethal, but they're going to block and so we won't actually. Like, no, we won't actually have lethal. Because the damage they're going to be able to block won't have them kill us. Or won't kill them. So, I'm going to play it a little bit safer and just go like this. We have our level Diego. So, we have a pretty good win condition. Best blocks. So we want to kill everyone if at all possible. This blocking and killing that would be solid. Blocking and killing that would also give us a lot more. So he's going to have three damage, not enough to actually kill anyone. So yeah, these can probably go there and there. So we're taking not that much damage. They might. Uh, they might have ways to increase their attack. But I think we have to go with this. You will 
it's possible that we maybe could have had lethal, but didn't want to risk it. All right, we can drop our dragon, kill their unit that we stole, which would be nice, and give us a little bit more sustain. I served for decades, and you call on me now. Pledge to Sejuani's service. All right, got our Viego, stealing their units, generating more mists. Oppose me and die. I think I'll actually put that there. Now we're going a little bit more all in, but we should have more than enough at this point. Glad we have that overwhelm. GG. It is also solid that we grab that Shen, because that lifesteal is really helping us heal up. More draw, that's fine. It is a weakness we have. Definitely better than other things that cost almost 10 each. Uh, we get a power, because we're pretty close to max on health. Rush them down is decent because it's essentially giving us 1-1 one, one to all of our mists. And once our mists get a little get high enough, they're able to give us cost reduction. Could use a reroll here, because these are all literally common powers. They're solid powers, but I'm gonna Gonna try a reroll. Hopefully, we can get something a little bit better. We'll go for the deep cuts, I guess. On the other hand, we are summoning a lot of units. We're potentially gonna get more sustain. Yeah, I guess. I guess we'll go for welcome gifts. All right, Draclorn Inquisitor. Uh, yeah. Gifts can be fun. Uh, we'll get rid of the Despair. We'll get rid of the Dragon. We're starting off with two of our draw spells. So that's not bad. Let's drop this. And then go ahead and kill it. So we can try to draw our champion. There we go. Alright, not really enough to do anything. We're sadly one away, although... Yeah, this won't give us quite enough. But giving Diego Barrier isn't bad. This is expensive, but also really good. Yeah, pretty close. Alright, what do they have? At last they awaken. So yeah, I guess we'll attack. Not really going to do much, but... It is what it is. I follow the friend Lord, true leader. So we could drop our fading icon, but they're just going to immediately attack. Granted, we're going to heal up after this. So let's be a little greedy. 
Yeah, this will be a solid amount of damage, but it's fine. Because this is helping us scale up quite a lot, and it's going to help us... Uh, level up our Viego. Since he's going to die anyways, we can get some more draw. Alright, Spirit's Refuge, solid. Let's give that barrier and see what we get for cards. Ledros is pretty much always the right answer. Kill the strongest, not going to actually do anything here. Yeah, we'll pass. This is fine. Possession, we could just steal their unit. That is kind of funny. Uh, this one is pretty much a permanent unit. When if someone grant me Deathless, and it just always is there. Uh, kill an ally, then revive it. This will probably be better. Because this will give us a lot of our mists. Surrender to me. Hey, look, life steal. Perfect. I will find her. The dark Does life steal get copied? I feel like it's just gonna be Oh, it's not gonna show us. Let's attack like this so we get a rally. He's strong enough to kill anything. Yeah, this should be solid. Well, that's annoying. At least we're leveled. Did they remove the mutator that's 2 2 when damaged from Lissandra? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's still in the game, sadly. Yep, I think Ledros is the right call. And he also got lifesteal. Alright, we won't attack with our Viego, we don't want him to die. But the rest of these, that's perfectly fine. Like, Ledro's dying, we just get him back next round. Or not even next round, right here. Yeah, looks solid. Let's get some mists going. Get some more cost reduction for our Ledros when they die. Alright, let's go ahead and just kill one of our own units. Oh, oops, it's one of theirs. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. A new article just dropped from the LOR team. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. I'm gonna open that on the second monitor to see. Yeah, we'll just, they're probably not gonna attack. Nope. Okay, I will maybe read that in a moment. Uh, let's attack with this one, because both of them will die, which is perfect for us. Yeah, scissors on the unit that you need to kill that's theirs is very nice. Uh, GG. Uh, the article is on their website. Ledger's with lifesteal, yeah. Is it normally better to place Viego as the last attacker in case you someone missed mid-fight? Uh, potentially. 
Normally, that's how what I would do with Viego. Uh, except when I have scissors, I normally always put the scissors user at like the front. Alright, Spirit's Refuge, Ardent Sensor. I like the draw, but this one's also very good for us. I think I'll go here. Alright, I don't really want to deal with Mind Meld. Alpha Wild Claw is tough, especially with Frost Gathers. But let's see what we can do. Deal three to the enemy Nexus. Draw me at the start of the game. I think we'll go for this at game start. Yeah. All right, Alpha Wild Claw. The life steal is saving you a lot of health. Yes, it is. I'll get rid of this because we know we're going to draw it. We have our Viego. Fantastic. Uh, let's drop this here. Since they can attack every round, we need to try... <laughs> Uh, to get... Let's give this one barrier. Uh, Sunderer sounds good. We need to try to get our... Encroaching Mists up and running. We might, with the Deathless, we'd actually summon Viego this round. From the cost reduction, from what we got going. Yeah, that Welcome Gifts is actually being pretty clutch for us. All right, looks good. Why was Nami there if it's Titanics? Uh, Nami was there because we have Starforge Gauntlets. Uh, we could kill it and draw two. Mm. I'm, I'm fine with that getting hit, getting a little bit lower. When you manifest, manifest or invoke, yeah. Alright, six, so not quite enough. But we can play for free. These woods protect their own. A true Falyorian welcome. Alright, let's go ahead and kill that and revive it. Hey, look, lifesteal again. Yeah, Welcome Gifts is actually pretty solid on Viego, because since you're summoning so many mists, you have a much higher chance of actually being able to get a good keyword. The scaling is insane. Once you get the six star, it must be... Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'll have that one first. We will attack like this. So yeah, five. We're gonna summon another one, so we're gonna get another rally. Yes, they got three deathless mists in the same round. Wow. Oh look, GG. <laughs> Didn't even need the rally. I don't have Gauntlets, Disciples Shadows, or Scissors. Oh, that's rough. Hey, look, Possession. It's already supposed to be cheaper. Normally, it's not in-game, but sure. If it works, it'll be a zero cost. Uh, the Amalgamation is also pretty good on, like, any Shadow Wilds champion. Yeah, maybe free. We'll go for the possession. If it is actually free, it's going to be very strong. Although the pickaxe would be decent. But yeah, we'll go here. Alright, so shop. 
I don't really care about that. Copy me on the same targets. This is actually decent because this is then going to give us a lot more cost reduction for our Viego. Give us some more draw, which is decent. Steal the Watcher. Yeah, maybe. It's double attack, but I don't care about Shen at all. <laughs> Just, it doesn't matter to me. A two cost rally banner. Uh, I'm going to use a reroll here. I don't really care about any of these that much. I don't really care about any of these either. The free attack, like, we want this to stay on the board for us to kill, not for them to kill. Yeah, we're only really playing Shen as, like, a last resort. I mean, this is a zero cost, so... That's decent, but we'd rather draw this than draw something else. I think we'll get one more Key Guardian, and then we'll just not bother. We're really not getting crazy upgrades at all for our Viego. Honored Lord, that'll be nice if we have the health to spare. All right, Orin with at last they awaken. Also, what does she have? Okay, all things grow cold. Building a deck, are we? Excellent. I brought nails. Yep, see our possession, it didn't count. <laughs> that is an annoying bug. Uh, oh well. It's still good. I used Viego to beat Lissandra at first try. It was so fun. Yeah, as long as we don't have terrible luck, we should be able to do that. Like, so far, things are looking really well. Working well. Didn't draw any units. Okay. Good start. Uh, we could... <laughs> we could possess their unit and then kill it. Uh, but this is going to give us four cost reduction for our Viego. Which seems pretty good. Huh. Sure. I mean, it's a cheap unit. Opinion of Right of Calling, when to take it. Uh, right of Calling is very good for Viego. Probably take it always. Because killing one of your units, not bad. Um, summoning your champion, really, really good. It's a really good relic. A really good card. Alright, uh, there's zero costs. Let's actually drop our fading icon because we can play it for free or play it for one and and drop our viego this one has barrier yeah right of calling is very good for uh some champions i love they're taking their units and eating it with corrupted star fragment yeah All right, so we'll attack with our Viego. Really, we'll attack with everything. Uh, we'll let one of them die first. All right, so this one has elusive. Let's see if the copy also has elusive. It does. Okay, and then it gets another keyword. All right. All right, so this is going to die and then level up our Viego. Awesome. It is round start, right? Yes. All right, fantastic. All will be consumed by the black mist. Alright, let's play this. 
Uh, I wonder if we kill this and then revive it, they probably won't get it back. Which is kind of funny. But we're going to kill this, and then we're going to kill our Chronicler of Ruins. We get that rally. Oh, it's just going to get burnt off. That's even better. That's perfect. Oh, that's so good. All right, let's go ahead and... Kill that. Uh, sure. Let's also get rid of the spiders. We just get another person attacking with us. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I was hoping we would get that, but don't get a lot of powers in against Asil or Lissandra. Yeah, I think that looks pretty awesome. GG. Oh. And we have full health. I will take back what is mine. So we can go for the um, noble. Something noble, I think. Uh oh. Huh. Well, <laughs> game crashed. Uh, I have the article open. I'm planning on reading it right after the Lissandra run. But thanks for the heads up. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, the node we're going to go to, it's like something nobleman. Hopefully it saved the fact that we won there. <laughs> Path players eating well in the article? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, nice. Hero's Horn. Honored Lord. Okay. Lord, not noble. <laughs> Got that mixed up. Power Rift, this is going to be fantastic for us. So good. Dragon's Tooth, also good. Power Rift, better. All right, Lissandra and all things grow cold. At last, my time is at hand. <laughs> all right, despair. We'll get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Hapless aristocrat. Hapless aristocrat. Decent. All right, we did not draw. <laughs> we did not draw our champion. So we're gonna do this just for the hero's horn. Hi, Toast from Denmark. Just here to see the finale of the run. Hello there. Ooh, deathless. Nice. Alright, drop our Viego. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill these since we have them. Get some more draw going because things are a little expensive here. Yeah, classic champion not showing up for the finale. Uh, let's summon some more encroaching mists. I'm a little bit worried about getting <laughs> obliterated, not gonna lie. All right, we can't really attack because their units are so big from all things grow cold. Let's try to, one, draw some more copies of our Viego, because we might need it. But also, we need to get him leveled to kill the enemy. I command you. Okay, this will be good. <laughs> 
So that's 12 right there. So yeah, once these die, which... I mean, we can attack with because they're going to die anyway, so might as well. Yeah, we'll attack with these. Viego's going to level. They look angry. So he can start taking out their strongest units. We have a backup Viego, so if they entomb one, we'll play the other. Hi, Toast. First, first time watcher. Enjoyer of Eloir as well. Seems like you got this. Yeah, hopefully. Casual 24 trundle as a blocker is not okay. Yeah. Kill an ally, then revive it. That would be pretty solid. I think we'll save that for next round. The good thing is, since this happens at round start, it's not like they can stop it. Not if we already have our Viego on the board. Yeah, Trundle just gone. The lady of ice and darkness. I do All right, them just frostbiting Trundle. Not a big deal. I am iceborn. Embrace. All right, let's just get our army going. So we have a solid amount of blockers, and yeah, they don't want to mess with this. And now Lissandra's just going to die at the end of the round. Solid. This also is Deathless, which is really good. Alright, let's... I will find her. Attack like this, we'll be able to rally. Very high likelihood of getting obliterated. That's probably going to happen, but we're in a good spot. We can use this uh, to potentially heal up a whole bunch. Don't want to use this early because they might frostbite us. But this should be solid. First time watching your stream? Welcome. Yep, there's the frostbite. Are they also entombing? What's happening here? Alright, some ice shards. Should be fine. Yeah, all good. Let's drop this and kill and revive one of these. Looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, attack again. They are out of mana. Do we want to do a Spirit's Refuge? It would give these units an item, so I think let's go for it. But get some healing going. What item did they get? Attack plant poison puff caps. That uh, sounds fun. Uh, we'll hold this one back so we can attack again next round. Yeah, they don't have enough damage to kill our Viego. So this should be good. <laughs> He's actually killing their unit with his one attack. Three attack. Okay, not enough to kill their unit. Sure, let's just keep putting the pressure on. Let's attack with these two right here, trying to kill off their remaining units. If they kill this, we get another rally.
All right, so this will kill one of their units. Wonderful. All right, I think we can <laughs> end there, but pretty solid because we're just about to steal this unit right over here. All right, they're finally going to obliterate. Uh, yeah, Spirit's Refuge won't help at all. Alright, Encroaching Mist. So we're just going to go ahead and drop another Viego. Because, yeah, we figured they were going to do that. And we were going to kill our own unit anyways. So, not complaining. They are also pretty much out of mana. Huh. Well, I will find her. let's just go for it. I right, we'll just give ourselves barrier, and we'll just steal that unit next round. Actually, wait, they have, uh, they have the attack token, right? So they'll be able to attack with it. Still shouldn't really matter. All right, let's go ahead and drop our Barrier Shen. The fate of mortals and spirits. Ha, they don't want to attack. Perfect. So that means the Watcher is ours. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clone the Watcher. I will find her. So rip Lissandra. Oh, well, that's kind of satisfying. <laughs> I think that's the most I've ever overkilled their Nexus. Oh, GG. Well, that was satisfying. Yeah, one and a half K damage overkill. Diego's pretty good. Pretty good.